You know, it's me, your little boy, Kisamsen. You know, your anointing and your gift as a choosing attract bad people into your life. This is why you as a choosing, as an individual, you should understand that a time will come or you have experienced what I'm saying or what I'm about to say, you as a choosing, you will come to a point in your life where you will be asking yourself why you are meeting the wrong people in your life. Because the truth is that everyone needs something good, both the bad and the good and the good. That is why we plant what stuff, we weed it, we cultivate it, we take good care of it. So you need to understand that in life you are going to meet the wrong people. You are going to meet the wrong with the wrong people and the good people. Sometimes you may come to the point where you will be meeting the wrong people. Why? Because many of them love what they see in you. Not that they are there to assist you, to help you. Not that they are there because of the fact that they love you. They are just there because what you carry is what is attracting them into your life. What you carry, the aura, the energy... The, the, the grace of God, the anointing of God in your life, it do what it attract what wrong people into your life. But that does not mean they are going to be able to stop you or they will be able to destroy you. Or because sometimes many of them may try to the point of what of envying what they see in you. Even to the point, some of them will start to plot evil. Some of them will start to make some moves. Some of them will start to try all kinds of stuff in order for them to make sure they sabotage what they see absolutely in you. But you have to understand one thing, that the moment you start to meet wrong people in your life, just know that the end of it all is going to encounter overnight breakthrough. That at the end of all those struggles, if you refuse to give up, if you refuse to give them the power, if you refuse to surrender to them, you will be elevated overnight. So the reason why God allow wrong people into your life in order for them to witness your elevation. In order for them to know that he is the one that called you, that no matter how many there are that may rise up or gang up against you, they will never be able to subdue you. Because sometimes God allows wrong people to do what will come into your life so that they can have something to talk about. Sometimes God allows wrong people to come into your life so that they will be able or so that they will end up having something to gossip. Because God is, God allowed them to come into your life for the purpose of them learning and knowing that He is God and He, he do what He live it. That is why you need to understand that wrong people, you must surely meet them. You know, sometimes I do used to ask myself a question, Lord, why do you allow me to meet someone that end up wasting me my years, my three years? How come I, I was so what I was so unaware that I meet someone that do that cost me pain. But when I remember, when I look at where I am today, when I look at the blessings of God upon my life today, when I look at the favor of God upon my life today, when I look at the stuff that I have gained, I say, no, there is a reason why God do everything he always does. There is a reason why God allow people to come into your life. So that at the end, they will know that if they can't do it for you, that he can still do it for you. So that at the end, many of them will know that those people who believe that God don't exist, through you, they will confirm that there is a God. So the, there are many authentic reasons why God allow wrong people into your life. Because sometimes he wants to teach them a lesson. He wants to let them know that even if they reject you, even if they abandon you, even if they talk bad about you, even if they try to forsake you, there is always a way for your own escape. You go, I'm saying so. Remember, blessed, and may the Lord do what blessed you.